Today I'm going to show you how I make the perfect flying geese block every single time. And yes, I mean perfect. And that is by using the flying geese trim lock. Me and my husband make these flying geese trim locks as well as our other trim locks that you may have already seen me using. They are to trim up passport triangles and hourglass blocks. These tools are amazing and I wanna show you why. So let's dive in and make a flying geese block and then I'll show you how to use this tool to trim them up perfectly every time. So here is my perfectly trimmed up flying geese block and this is a three and a half inch by six and a half inch flying geese block that I made using this tool. Now what you'll need to make this block is a four inch by seven inch rectangle and then two four inch squares. All right, the first thing you'll wanna do is draw a diagonal line corner to corner on your squares. I'm just gonna use a pin so that you can see it really well, but you may wanna use something that either heat erases or will dissolve away on this because it could be seen in the seam of this block. This is a solid fabric that I used here, but if you are using something that has a print on it, make sure you draw the diagonal line on the wrong side of your fabric because you're gonna place this right sides together all the way along one side of the rectangle as you see here. Then we're going to stitch directly across this diagonal line. So I stitched right across that drawn diagonal line and now I'm going to press here. I like to press just to get everything laying nice and flat, make sure I don't have any weird bumps in the fabric. Once I press it, then I'm going to trim a quarter inch away. You can see I'm using my flying geese trim lock here because it has some quarter inch lines etched right in it. So it makes it perfect for trimming across here. I just line up that etched line with the stitches and then I can trim away. All right, and then I'm just going to finger press the seam, get it going in the direction that I want it to, kind of coax it along, and then I'm going to add heat and actually press it nice and flat. All right, and once it is pressed, we're going to follow the same steps on this other side. We're going to place the other square right sides together, line it up really well. We'll stitch right across that line. After stitching, we'll press it again. Then we'll trim a quarter inch away. And then of course, press again. All right, so after getting the flying geese sewn together, it's time to use the flying geese trim lock to trim everything up. And this is where you'll really get to see why this tool is so stinking awesome and why it'll speed up your trimming too. All right, so if you take a look at this trim tool, you'll see that you have minimal things to worry about on here. There's not a lot of measurements or things going on. It has a handle, which is really nice for holding it. It keeps your hand up away from the blade. And it also minimizes the pressure you'll have to use to hold the ruler in place. We also have some grips along here on the bottom that hold the fabric really nicely so you can move it around. So you only have to line up this tool once and then you can twist to trim each side. So it speeds up your trimming in my opinion. All right. So you have the quarter inch line around here and where it is really important is up here at the point and then you have these diagonal lines that you will line up with your flying geese triangle. So once you get it lined up, it sort of just locks in place on your fabric so that you can do all your trimming quick and efficiently. So you'll just trim one side and then you can twist whatever direction feels comfortable to you. Trim up the next side, turn, trim up the next side, turn, and trim up the final side. So very, very fast to get that all trimmed up and then it is absolutely perfect. You can see here, I have another one that I trimmed up and they look great together. They look like they'll line up perfectly and I will sew those together so you can see them. So I have one more that I can trim up for you again, just to show how easy this is and how quickly you can work through trimming up your flying geese with this block.
Now, a few things you'll want to keep in mind with this trim tool is that it really only trims the size that you purchase. So this one trims for three and a half by six and a half inch flying geese. We would like to add more sizes to our shop. So let me know in the comments what size flying geese blocks you use the most or that you would like to see in our shop. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that this tool can grip your fabric really well, but you want to think about the surface that you're trimming on. If it has a lot of grooves in it, it is really torn up, the fabric might not spin as smoothly on it, so keep that in mind as well. All right, so I'm going to sew these together so that I can show you how nicely those points come together. All right, so look at those perfect points. And I'm telling you, you can get those every single time with these perfectly trimmed up flying geese blocks. You just wanna make sure you are being accurate with your quarter inch seam. And if you saw while I was sewing, I like to sew with the block that has the point facing up. So when I stitch along, I can make sure my stitches go right along where that point is. It's really helpful I'm getting it perfect along with having that accurate quarter inch seam and accurately trimmed blocks. It makes it such a breeze to get that point every time. I have made these a few different times with different fabrics and they turn out perfect every single time. So again, let me know in the comments what size of the flying geese blocks you'd love to see in our shop. We also sell this same type of trim tool for half square triangles and they are also great for hourglass blocks or quarter square triangles, whatever you would like to call them. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like, and if you are not subscribed to my channel, I have a ton of tutorial videos and free patterns out there for you to watch. You'll see some come up on the screen if you would like to check them out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.